You may have seen the video that's gone viral overnight of Whitney Sharp, an employee at a large organization who's being pitched to by a potential tech vendor. Now she's on a video call, and during this call, the vendor shares their screen. Now what they clearly didn't mean to share is a Teams chat where that team is talking in sexist language about Whitney. Now she calls him out in the moment. She called it locker room talk. I probably would have been more aggressive, called it sexist or inappropriate. But what she did is a masterclass in handling it in the moment. The way the vendor responded with an email and then a phone call leaves a lot to be desired. But this video is directed to sales employees, account managers, or account reps, all those that may be in situations to remind you of things that are appropriate and inappropriate. Three points. One is a lot of training in sexual harassment or things like that shows pretty extreme examples, or they may be things like a big holiday party or big event. Those may not even be relatable. But things like harassment, discrimination, or just flat out inappropriate comments can happen all the time in remote environments. Now in one, in this situation, you know, this team, which seems to have been all male, was commenting about Whitney. They probably think it was very appropriate and flattering because they're talking about how attractive she is, ostensibly. But that's not appropriate. It's not. It's not considered a compliment and it's not welcome. In these situations, you have to be mindful about what you talk about. If you're human and you think those thoughts in your head, then you have to be a professional and stop them. That means not contributing to a conversation or adding them in, either positively or negatively. Your clients, potential clients, and third parties don't want to hear comments about their physical appearance or their voice. They don't want to be told how pretty they are or um, they don't want to talk about how tall they are, how short they are. You don't need to talk privately about how overweight someone is. So whether it's positive or negative, those comments are flat out inappropriate. And if you're going to refrain for those comments because you're afraid of going viral, then may that be the reason. But to lean on that and recognize you can build relationships in so many ways without talking about either to that person or on the side of their appearance. It's just flat out inappropriate. Two, sometimes you'll hear people say, well, I'm horrified that this would happen because I have a daughter or I have a sister. It should not take having a familial relationship, being married, having children, having anything like that, to recognize you need to treat people as professionals. So that is an excuse. Women frequently kind of roll their eyes when you hear that because it should just be a common sense statement, not I don't want my daughters this way. I don't want my children treated that way. I don't want to be, and not because of my gender. No gender should be treated that way. So in these situations, not pinning it towards having some sort of gender type relationship, but doing it because you're a professional. Three is it's not enough to just sit by silently. I haven't seen who all's on that team chat. There may be others that felt like they did the right thing by watching that chat and not contributing to it. They may have thought like, oh, this kind of gives me the willies, but it's truly not enough. And frequently comments like this happen. It's why I'm always glad when videos like this see the light of day, because it's horrible to see happen but it's important for others to learn from it and do better. That's why I'm making this video. So if you see others talking like this, then calling them aside. And it's not like a dare video from when I was in elementary school of, you know, that's not cool. We say no to drugs. In a situation like this, you see people making comments, calling them out and saying, oh, that's unprofessional. If you want to say, do you see that person went viral for the same thing? It's just not, not okay. And it's not who we need to be. And that's exactly what the apology from the organization said. This is not the organization we are. Unfortunately, that's exactly who they are. It may not be who they want to be. But so you as a professional, thinking about the actions that you take, are those the actions that you want to be? And if your comments, even if not directed directly to that prospect or that client or that colleague, if those were to see the light of day, would you be proud of what you say or would you be horribly embarrassed? And so thinking about everything through a lens of what you say, especially in online environments, be it video, be it chat, again, you should walk in and think of every interaction as being professional. Doesn't mean you can't be friendly. There's plenty of ways to build those without being offensive. But stopping and recognizing that comments, especially about physical appearance or the like, positive or negative, are not necessary, are not value add, and there's so many better ways to do business. And so if seeing this comment or this video opens your eyes, then may you learn lessons from that. Because that type of silver lining is the best thing to happen when there's a very dark cloud of inappropriate conduct. So I hope this video is helpful for you and your teams and that you don't repeat the same mistake that this company did.